I went to the Dollar Tree and was able to pick up some of these wooden boxes that just have a faux front to them. It's just like a faux window kind of thing. They're actually, oddly enough, well put together with screws in this hardware that are actually screws in hardware, not just decorative pieces that, you know, are stickers or something. <laughs> I'm just taking it off and putting it off to the side for a future DIY, hopefully, but I'm definitely going to be keeping them because they are pretty cute. But continuing on from there, I am taking the little sticker off and all the grime that comes off with the sticker and again, taking all the hardware off of this as well. You can definitely add more than two or three of these together if you wanted to make a longer one. I don't know how stable they would be, but because they're most likely going to be sitting up against a wall anyways, you can go ahead and do that. I just took three of them and then I made another three off camera, but I filled in all of the holes from the screws with wood filler. The one that I was using is going to be a tinted wood filler, which doesn't matter for me personally because I'm going to be staining these anyways. If you are planning to recreate this or make something alike with this step at least, you can definitely opt for a non-tinted wood filler but besides that I'm going to wait for it to dry down and then go over it with a sanding block obviously use sandpaper if you have it I'm just using what I have on hand I'm making a very smooth surface Next up, I'm taking my stain, the exact same stain that I've used for basically every DIY on this channel thus far. I'm going to be using my stain towel because now it's really stained with stain. That's a, that's a lot of stain words. Going in with gloves because you always want to stay safe, kids. No glove, no love, you know. And then I'm actually going back in with the sanding sponge and just going over everything just so I have a very, very smooth surface for everything to stick to. As I find some of the wooden barrels or wooden crates, etc. that I buy from any dollar stores at all tends to have a little bit of a... a almost like a film on it that doesn't take to stain very well. Even though there were a couple little drips here and there, but for the most part, I think I did it pretty well. Once the stain was completely dry, I didn't do the back because I really found no point. I didn't want to waste any of the stain. If I say that one more time, I got these hardware pieces, which are basically just O, o hooks I believe is what they're called. I had some on hand but I also got some from Amazon. The ones that I had on hand were gold and these ones are obviously silver. I did like the gold better but unfortunately I wasn't able to find any in the size and shape I was looking for while being gold and not stupidly expensive. I personally only noticed a difference because I made it but had I not made it I probably wouldn't notice the difference. Now to put these on I'm just going to be screwing them in a little bit and then really taking some pliers to help them out to actually put them further in because they were a little bit um, weird to place in because of the little amount of area I had to work with. So as you guys can see these ones are actually gold versus these ones being silver. These I already had on hand, luckily, but I didn't have enough to do all three of these and there probably will be more that I make because I really like these and I feel like I want to put more sunglasses in them. These ones I got off of Amazon and I will link them below if they are still in stock or even if they're not, I will link them below if you guys want to check them out. Both definitely look manageable. These ones are going to be a little bit longer, so they do almost go to the very end. Like I can feel kind of where they're starting to come out of the wood. I, I would rather have these ones, but how many times can I see these ones? I would rather have these, but I couldn't find anything close to this. Anything less than like 20 bucks, and I don't want to pay 20 bucks for these, so I got this one instead. And these come in a giant pack, so I opted for this. Now for the attachment procedure, I'm simply going to be adding wood glue. If you did want to make these a little bit more secured together, you could definitely add screws or, I don't know, nails or something like that. But I found that wood glue worked just fine for me. I put a generous amount of wood glue onto this popsicle stick and then just basically smeared it all over the top of one and the bottom of another and then put those together secured those with a clamp and bob's your uncle whatever that saying even means <laughs> I found that using more wood glue definitely helped it to be more secure, but a little bit of it did bleed out, so I just used a little bit of a tissue and just went through it like this. 
and obviously let it dry per the package instructions. I let mine go, I think, for 24 hours just to be absolutely sure, and then it's pretty damn sturdy, I'd say. You could definitely leave it like this, but I went a step further and made it so it's hangable, and I just literally did this with some wooden rulers. I just etched off all of the numbers on one side of it. Definitely stain this if you want to. I didn't feel like it. I cut it to size with my rotary cutter and then broke it off at the seam that I had made. I also used the sanding block to sand it down a little bit so it was flush. And again, just use the wood glue, put some on, place the rulers down, again made sure that they were flush both upwards and outwards and onwards. Put some pressure on it as well, and there we go. Now enjoy this clip of me cutting something with absolutely nothing. 